there has absolutely been fantastic progress made in biliary cancers. And I think it speaks to the fact that there are now FDA approved drugs. We never had that before. Uh, we had gemcitabine and cisplatin, and that was pretty much all. Um, full Fox is the new standard of care in the second line setting. Uh, but in terms of drugs that have been FDA approved, uh, we're making great strides in terms of FGFR inhibitors that are approved. There is a potential for an IDH inhibitor to be approved. So it's hopefully coming that we have a number of targeted therapies that are available to our patients with known uh, mutations and alterations that are targetable. Uh, I think there's a lot of work that obviously still needs to be done. I think we can absolutely try to improve on the chemotherapies that we have. Um, gemcitabine and cisplatin and Fulfox still leave something to be desired in terms of overall survival and overall response rate. Uh, SWOG 1815, which is a study that is a randomized phase three study comparing gemcis and plus or minus nab paclitaxel, um, so the addition of a third chemotherapy. Uh, that study has been completed, and we're waiting for the final uh, overall survival readout. And I think that will be an important study because there are a lot of patients that can tolerate triplet chemotherapy. And so if there is a dramatic improvement in survival, that will be a great option for our patients. While 40% of patients have targetable alterations, that means 60% don't. So, you know, identifying other drugs for patients without targetable alterations is going to be really important. Um, one of the big areas of interest, of course, is immunotherapy because so far single agent checkpoint inhibitors have been underwhelming in biliary tract cancers, but there are a lot of studies looking at gemcitabine and cisplatin with the addition of immunotherapy or other immunotherapy combinations. Uh, and that, again, hopefully would be potentially for an all-comer patient population. And so understanding how to turn what has been a historically cold tumor hot, if you will, um, is a really a, a huge area of focus and research interest right now. And then I think the last area that's really kind of evolving is understanding the resistance associated with targeted therapies, because once you give an FGFR inhibitor, you can absolutely have a, um, a resistance uh, mechanism emerge that then makes us question how and if we can continue to target these important oncogenic uh, drivers uh, and how to integrate these targeted therapies into earlier stages. So for instance, in patients who have uh, more localized disease, can we do perioperative approaches using targeted therapy? Can we suggest neoadjuvant um, targeted therapies before surgery? And there's a lot of really interesting studies that are being developed right now that are looking at how and if we can integrate targeted therapies into the potentially resectable space. So I think it's a really great time for biliary tract cancers because there's a lot of really smart minds working on drug development and novel approaches to treating these cancers.